How you doing folks? Today's video is called Tweedle Dumb and Dumber and it's a video by K Beach, his comments and then his end move censorship and Hannibal Victor 13 and his comments and the title of the video is called MRA's Social Movement or Breeder Reactor Producing Weaponized Crazy. Now here we have the video and uh, I'm going to point out a few things here. A few of my comments to K Beach and uh, Hannibal there. Tweedledum and Dumber. So here I uh, I said uh, to Hannibal Victor there, he, he said that, you know, there's some sort of, you know, he, he's putting down the fact that we believe that there is some sort of kind of feminist conspiracy, you know, like a whole bunch of them get together and, and agree to, you know, present fraudulent and false facts or things that they purport to be facts. So I said, don't worry there, Han. Uh, I'm connecting the dots here in Canada, and I hope you'll enjoy the, the taste of crow. Uh, for those of you who don't know, that refers to, you know, eating crow. That means when you're proven wrong, sort of deal. So, K Beach chimes in back at you. You crazy fuck. You're the weaponized crazy I'm talking about. You need to check your Rudy Poot ass before you create a body count, and your ass is corrected for you. Get yourself the help you need before... It's part of your prison sentence. I'm not kidding. You fucking scare me. So my reply back to him there was, uh, you know, KB, it's interesting how I scare you with facts. I have no weapons. I'm a pacifist. You are mistaking me for a feminist. As for me going to jail, ask the Bracebridge Crown Attorney's Office how well that went for them the last time they tried, and I represented myself, by the way. The help you insinuate I need... Well, funny thing is that the shrink I see for post-traumatic stress disorder is behind me 100%, and post-traumatic stress disorder is the only mental issue I have. Morons like you created this situation by blindly believing feminist lies, which I expose. And you can see down here, you know, Hannibal Victor says, uh, yeah, 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 this sounds like bullshit. So I replied to him. I said, yeah, bullshit enough to have a paper taken down off an abused woman's group slash website in my nation's capital. A group that received around 120 k from the municipal and provincial government last year and has at least one professor on their board. And I will add, said professor is listed as an editor for that paper. Go ahead and look at the vid on my channel. See for yourself who is spreading the bullshit and have yourself a taste of crow. And he replies back, <clears throat> Once again, sounds like bullshit, given the level of dishonesty on your side. Until I see it myself, it doesn't exist. Sorry, Bubbles. So, when I went to reply back to this comment, this is what I found. But this is my comment, anyways. I guess with your head so far up your own ass, it's difficult to see anything. The vid is there on my channel for all to see. Bubbles, huh? I, I guess name-calling is the best you can do. And as you can see, you know, wow, I was banned. And there's this, you know, static screen grab of it for you. So, I get another Gmail alert that uh, K Beach has replied to me, and uh, it's to my first comment on his on his channel, and he uh, says, "Are you a lawyer or trained in the law in any way? Seeing your success rate with the legal system, I hope they get smart, ignore you, and get actual legal advice." <laughs> well, uh, I reply back to K Beach, "Yeah, trained in law, yes." And I do have some post-secondary education in, in law courses. Uh, like I said, my name gets dropped. They, and I mean the, the Attorney General of Ontario, get nervous. Oh, and don't worry. Vid response to your comments coming up. I do hate it when people lie about me. And that is because when I was taking a look at the page, what I found was right here. And here's, here's the vacuum echo chamber between these two morons, dumb and dumber. Um, now you can see that K Beach chimes in on one of Hannibal Victor's comments there, and uh, he says that uh, isn't this the fruitcake that claims he has PTSD because his spouse slapped him in the back of the head? I know he claims having a poster taken down uh, validates his tinfoil hat crazy. This is what pisses me off about JTO and girl rights. What they egg lunatics like this on, and they don't fucking care about the fallout. A moral fucks, and you know. Here comes more from the vacuum echo chamber. Uh, you know, Hamble Victor. Uh, yep, this is the guy. Now, how do you get PTSD from a head slap? I don't know. 
I wonder if JTO, girl writes what, do that deliberately in the hopes that blah, 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 blah. I can almost feel my IQ points dropping reading the dribble coming out of these guys' fingertips. Now, here's that alleged poster that they said that I had taken down. And by the way, it is taken down. But uh, uh, alleged poster. All right. As you can see, November 2011. Research and report by Trina Forrester. Who's the research assistant to? Professor Holly Johnson. And all the way down to the bottom. It's 54 pages long. That's an interesting little poster you're talking about there, uh, boys. Tweedledum and Tweedledumer. Um, now, here's where they make a, you know another idiot move and you know tell another lie um, here is my post-traumatic stress disorder doctor's note now I've uh, redacted some of the information on it because I should protect myself and I should protect the doctor and as you can see I've enlarged one section of it and you'll see that it says that this is from July 13th 2011 and that I've been suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder 2009 since February of 2009 now if you look at the police report and that is on my YouTube channel if you look at that you'll notice that it has a date of January I believe it's January 24th 2010 so I just like to know how these alleged intelligent individuals can take what they, they think is a logical leap into believing that post-traumatic stress disorder from uh, what they call was a slap upside the back of the head or something along them lines when in fact it was a little harder than that and it twisted my neck in a bad way that it still hurts to this day but anyways where I get my post-traumatic stress disorder from is from how far the injustice system would bend over backwards to feminist ideology that violence is gendered and that only men commit it. For example, when going to court about a domestic situation one time and exercising my rights under 136.2b of the Courts of Justice Act, which is my right to record proceedings since I was a party acting in person, a Sergeant Lars, badge number 499, threatened me with physical violence and uh, when I raised my voice and said, did you just threaten me in a courthouse with physical violence? And people started paying attention to what was going on in that courthouse by an officer, a sergeant, I might add, and reiterate again there, Tweedle Dumb and Dumber. He ran to the other side of the, that metal detector like the last donut on earth was there. And that's not the only instance. See, I've also had a threat against my life by an officer for bucking up against this domestic violence lie. And I take threats from these people who carry guns around very seriously. And that's the source of my post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, I'd also like to point out that not all police officers are bad. We do have some good ones out there, and we should throw as much support behind those ones as we can. But as for you, Tweedledum and Dumber, you boys can just shut the f*** up.